Hi Cancer, this is your reading for the 16th to the 22nd of November 2020 and welcome back. I hope you are liking the readings. The yearlies are out and also the romance readings are out if you haven't noticed. Please, um, if you're new, welcome. Thank you very much uh, everybody for being here. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit the bell on all and check your device settings as well otherwise you will not be notified this is what you do in your mobile device and in YouTube in the back office okay there is a video showing you on how to do it um, in the playlists updates and info uh, I've made a little video showing on how to do it okay this is your reading like I said for 16 to the 22nd and I'm using the uh, Charles Dickens Tarot by Chris Leach and if you would like to see all the cards then please have a look in the playlists for re uh, reviews um, there's n three new reviews um, up so have a look perhaps I can give you an idea or just suggestion um, if you know a reader or if you're a reader yourself to get a Christmas present or give a Christmas present the first card that you have is the Fool and all the characters in the cards are characters from the books here you are this is a man with a case and he's on his journey this is a new beginning so perhaps you might start something new um, on Monday um, something that you have not got all the information to that is the fool the fool means take that leap of faith into into the unknown into this new face then we have the six of swords you might be moving away um, from rough waters you can see the people traveling in a coach this is the train and they most might be moving away from troubled waters rough waters you're going into smoother waters this means that you could be going on holiday as well or moving home and crossing water awesome leaving rough times behind is always pleasant that could be your new beginning then we have the seven of pentacles this color is the pentacles the earth what you sow you shall reap if you know that you have sown roses you will get roses that is what you're waiting for so if you know what you've sown then you also know the results when it comes to fruition so you can pluck the harvest okay but you have to be patient uh, because it takes time to develop and to grow this is also with investments okay if you like if you've uh, put an offer in a house it will take time before you know whether it's yours or not the same with a loan things like that if you've applied for a job it will take time before you know you've got the job so what you sow you shall reap then we have the father the father of the water and the father of water is the king of water and the king of water he's a gentle nurturing loving passionate sensual and sexy man he will provide through thick and thin for his family um, he is a very good father it does represent cancer but don't uh, exclude Pisces or Scorpio okay they're also very spiritual people nine times out of ten they listen to their intuition they can work with their intuition and some people are actually also psychic okay they have one of the talents but they don't let the king doesn't let his heart rule his head or his head his heart he keeps it in balance he s sorts or searches for all the information before he invests in everything because he's just like the king of pentacles he goes in for long term and durability and remember 
they are very easy going because just so long you go with the flow it's fine okay cancer this is you so you might be in your element at the weekend on the 21st and this 22nd you might have taken on the um, status of the king okay because the king is cancer so you might have your emotions under control no stress no uh, extreme emotions so you are nicely in balance wow I think you are this will be a peaceful weekend for you I think since you've moved away from difficulties as you have the six of swords in the middle of the week you are getting over something and you are uh, sowing seeds perhaps for something new or you're waiting for that um, to come to fruition and I think it might come to fruition on Friday or in the weekend that makes you um, be emotionally in balance and under control awesome also um, we have the Sun of Pentacles and the Sun of Pentacles is the Knight of Pentacles so you might uh, meet a Virgo a Taurus or a Capricorn news is coming towards you well um, this uh, could be the news that you've been waiting for like I said if you've applied for a job you might be hearing you've got the job news is coming to you news that is tangible durable and for long term so if you've uh, put an offer in for a mortgage or you, an offer in on a home or you've applied for a job or uh, you have met uh, a Taurus uh, a Capricorn or a Virgo then uh, you will get news from them if you've asked them out for example you have planted the seeds on Friday and you will get to hear on Saturday and Sunday what the outcome is you might have taken a plunge uh, because you you've got the fool to start off with so you might have taken the plunge taken the leap of faith to start something new at the beginning of the week okay you might have sown the seeds at the beginning of the week and uh, you're moving away from difficulties and you are already seeing certain things on Friday growing and sprouting and coming to blossom awesome and I think you might have help from an other Cancerian a Scorpio or a Pisces or a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn in this process that you are going through so these people could most probably um, calm you down bring you back into level awesome enter the flow what did I say go with the flow with the king of uh, cups you're good at that because you can have your emotions under control you don't have to be a man you could meet the man um, or you could meet a cancer uh, that is king of cups and it could be a lady but she's more uh, career orientated we all have our masculine and feminine uh, side so perhaps um, on Saturday and Sunday your masculine side your business side career side might come out to the forefront there are myriads of opinions available to you there's lots of opinions available to you even if you feel rushed to act fast you'll be better able to make a long-lasting and confident decision by heeding the voice of your soul so listen to your intuition especially on the weekend you can either step back and wait inquire and consider or meditate and pray or you can push ahead in hurried in hurried um, hopes that it will all work out things do tend to come together in the end but to avoid a dramatic situation that later requires unraveling look at all your choices then exercise the many different ways you can express yourself 
feel how liberating it is to make a new choice and to sell past ingrained habitual responses. So sell past or travel away from your usual responses or behavior instead of reacting. Once you've made an intentional choice, lie back and be carried by the winds of flow in your greatest hope for direction. So, once you walk away from other people's drama or from a drama, then relax and um, make, a make your choice and set the intention of a choice. Lie back and carry be carried by the winds, or rather, go with the flow, like you usually do. Beautiful advice. Okay, take it easy at the weekend. That is what it is saying, basically. Difficult times are, you are leaving difficult times behind. Don't do anything in a hurry, otherwise you have to repent in leisure. I hope you have enjoyed this reading. It's short but strong. And that is amazing. All the re readings are shorter than normal, but the messages are very strong. So heed the warnings. Take care. Please like and share.